We are all having to get used to this again. I'm going through my gear at home. Before I, what do I take again? I need. Oh, I didn't have a, uh, a battery in the preamp because I've just been playing it acoustically. stars, boy. Cause it ain't worth the trouble when your guitar is a shovel that digs your grave. You wanna play every night just to follow your dream. And play that blues music, yeah, you wanna hear the people scream. When they're sneaking through the back sometimes, your boss in my rip you off, make you play real late. So you can't hold down no jumps, don't play guitar, boy. Don't you hold a stuff? This guitar that you play just might wind up the spade that digs your grave. You might have heard about Robert Johnson, he's a blues man, he used to carry that guitar around. They never played that music, yeah, he might have just stuck around. And take your man, Jimi Hendrix, it was Joey playing real hot, but he never knew. And just how famous he got, so don't play guitar, boy. Don't you want to stop? That you play, it just might wind up the spade that digs your grave. I didn't listen. Sister, man, I'm close from my boys. I 
I could spend my life just to paying off some bank in my working nine to five. I ain't got to tell you nothing, so I'll play guitar. I ain't like this. She put a star down. This guitar that I use when I play this blues until I die. This guitar that I use. Be 
Feast your eyes upon my need My want is quality And I was straight to 88 And I was left out in the cold I lost my job, my wife, my life And I got this begging bowl Me and my begging bowl So every day I rise at five and I stake my place in town. And 50,000 eggs a day I plead to help me out. And I hear the rumors going round and I know how cruel you are. Well, I bet it makes a grand a day and it drives a check you Begging bowl, near my begging bowl. Sounds better over here. You can all join me up here. <laughs> Hope you're all doing all right. It has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. I play a song by my old boss, my old mate, the Dutchman. What you gonna do when the hotel's closed, my baby? What you gonna do when the hotel's closed, my honey? She said the hotel's closed, I can't find a bar. I always keep a spare ounce lying around in the car. I'm gonna sit right down and get stoned again. What you gonna do if you run out of grass, my baby? What you gonna do if you run out of grass, my honey? She said, I ain't got the brass to buy no grass. I'll just stand on the corner and hold my ass, yeah. I'll sit right down and get stoned again, yeah, I will.
my baby. What you gonna do if you run out of hash, my honey? She said, I ain't got the cash to buy no hash, but I'm just breaking to my good man's stash to help him. I was sit right down in the stove. What you gonna do if your man was crazy, baby? So what you gonna do if your man was treats you, honey? She said, my man mistreats me. I'm sea red, and I run to the cops, and I tell him he's the head. I'm a son of a big fat mama get snow.
<laughs> so, uh, everybody here is some of the chosen few. You must have got on those tickets real quick. Well done. Um, because I've spent the last year, like most musicians, just trying to make the best of it and um, doing those uh, online concerts. So you're sort of playing to a little box. You can't see anybody. You sort of presume people are there. But, uh, but we're still here. We've all survived. Whatever you, you all have been doing in your working life or sort of waiting to get back into your working life. I have spent the last few weeks uh, d delivering parcels. I got a gig driving a van, and uh, that was kind of cool. It was all right. It was all right. So it's uh, it's nice to pick a guitar up again. This is my uh, this is my lovely Japanese guitar. It's a, a Yari K Yari guitar. I went to Japan a couple of years ago, do some shows with a, a mate of mine who lives over there. He invited me over, and it was it was just three shows. A very quick trip. And uh, with uh, international travel as it was at that time, it was something you could do. But uh, limited baggage, you're getting charged a lot if you took too much stuff. And as a musician, you've always got to take your instruments, and so then you try to minimise everything else you're taking. But my wife, uh, who uh, spent a lot of time in Japan in her younger days, she was uh, briefing me on how to behave. And uh, she was telling me about omiyagi, which is the gift giving, which is a traditional thing. And she said, you really must sort of be up with that. You know, take something that you can give to people in return when people give you a gift, because what the people will meet you. They want to give you a gift. And generally what they do is they give you a gift which is from where they are from. So if where they are from is known for oranges, they give you some orange, an orange or an orange product. Or it could be chocolate. They might give you chocolate or wine or bicycle clips, I don't know, whatever it is, whatever it is. So, uh, so they do that. So anyway, so I'm, I'm looking around for something and we, we're out shopping and we found these little um, uh, uh, fridge magnets but that were in the shape of kangaroos and boomerangs and stuff like that with fake Aboriginal art on there. But we thought that there's something particularly sort of Australian flavour that I could keep them in my top pocket. So if someone gave me a gift, Thank you very much, and there's a way to do it. Yeah. It's a very nice custom, but then yeah, they give me something, and I can just have something ready to go, give it to them, and they get really excited about it. Little kangaroo or something. So it's a lovely, lovely thing to do. So I was doing that all over the place. Why did they tell you all that? Oh, the guitar. All oh, right, so so, so so I've got one of the gigs that I did. One of the gigs that I did. These guys turned up. A couple of guys turned up in suits, and, uh, and they had a couple of guitar cases with them. You know, they introduced themselves. They were from the K Yari Guitar Company, and they said, "Oh, yeah, we just wanted to know have you have you ever played a K Yari guitar?" And I said, "No, I haven't, but I have heard about them. I've heard they're very good." And uh, they said, "Well, we brought a couple for you to try out if you'd like." So I sat down, I played them, and we were about to go. And I said, "I'll tell you what, we're about to do sound check. Why don't I play them in the show if you're sticking around?" So I got them into the gig. And I put the guitars up there and I played the guitars in, in the show and I said, oh, it's this lovely Kayari guitar. It's very nice because they couldn't understand what I was saying anyway. But I, I played them and it was great. At the, at the very end of the night, after there was all this Omiyagi thing going on and, and, uh, and, uh, and they hung around and, they, and they, they had the two guitars and they're getting ready to go. And they said, oh, we just wanted to know. Yeah, thank you for playing them. Which one did you think was better? I said, oh, that, they were both beautiful, but the one with the, with the cutaway in there would probably be the kind of thing that, that I would normally use, but only because I, I like the access to the... And before I knew it, they picked the guitar up and they handed it to me. So, so I was like... Oh. It was lovely. And so I was like... Oh. Good try. Good try. So I've only got a short set, so I, I really should wrap up here, I think, soon. Was it worth it? Sorry? Was it worth it? It is a lovely, lovely guitar. I do miss that particular fridge magnet. <laughs> I do lay awake and think about it sometimes, but... Mm -hmm. 
So speaking of finding something to do for a living, working for Australia Post for that short time, it's all wrapped up now, it was like the Christmas thing. So I may have delivered your Christmas shopping, you never know. But doing that has uh, upset the gag that I would tell when introducing this next song. When I used to say that I used to have a job. So this is a song about working in a factory.
on a load I've been lied to.
Everybody, that's it for me.